Welcome. Class will start shortly. Today's topic, music, sound recordings, and radio. Or tonight's topic, excuse me. No. Sound recordings, four periods. The acoustic era was 1877 to 1925. No microphones or electrical amplification. <laughs> the electrical era, 1925 to 45. Electrical microphones and amplifiers. The magnetic era from 45 to 75. Your father probably had one of these. Yep. And the digital era from 75 to now. <laughs> Sound recordings. Who started it? Thomas Edison. Eighteen seventy seven, the tin foil coated cylinder. Eighteen eighty eight, the solid wet cylinder. No, I doctored it up. Yeah. No, when she sends it to me, she said I can do whatever I want to it. Cylinder problems. You could only have two minutes on them. There was no math, excuse me, no mass method of duplicating. From cylinder to disc record.
1894, 78 rounds per minute. Initially, three to four minutes of music. So equivalently, one, maybe the length of one song, you know? <laughs> Made from shellac, a hard but brittle material. That's why it's easily breakable. Speeds range from 60 to 130 RPM. In 1925, the speed standardized to 78 RPM. Shell it's the supreme record. Let's all have a let's all have a jolly good time. Eighteen ninety four seven inch disc records in oh one ten inch oh three twelve inches. Probably could find these somewhere. Records? Yeah. Postcard? Yeah. <laughs> Next time you go over there, you'll have to bring me some so I can show it to her. Early record player was the wind-up handle. This was actually in that movie Christopher Robin, too. And, it's, and I believe it's in that game, too, Ellie Noir as well. Twenty five we are, we are introduced to the electric players. So you don't have to stand there and crank it. I think there's your crank right there, huh? Thirty one, thirty three, and a third RPM. The vinyl was flexible. But it easily scratched and warps. What are warps? What is a warp? The 10 inch format pre 1950s, approximately 10 minutes of music per side. 
So you figure about two or three songs. So in 48, we are introduced to 20 minutes of music per side. In 49, we have 45 RPM. Vinyl, 7-inch record versus the 10-inch of the 33 and a third. So we went from the 78, 33 and a third, 45 to CD. Why the large hole? 45 RPM torch spins so fast it equals wobbled with traditional size hole. Bench is just empty that the Mets gave. Somebody got drilled. And here are the adapters for them. Initially, single song per side. So you had basically two songs, one on each, huh?
It boosted Jukebot sales. Nineteen fifties became portable. Did your father have ever ever have one of those? The mid sixties and seventies we were introduced to the eight track. The problems were that the tape dried up, <laughs> fell off, separated, and or would disappear inside the cartridge. And it was phased out of retail stores by late 1982. The 70s through the 90s, we, we have cassettes. The floods and hiss, noise, flutter, and more. Worn out player could eat the tape. And then you have to use the old pencil to That was my error. Seventy nine we have the Walkman. Eighty two, we are finally introduced to CDs. It was it was a luxury. Here you go. The player cost over two thousand dollars. 85 350 or less
The Pro, you could have 80 minutes of audio. In the 1990s, we were introduced to MP3s. In the 1999, we have digital and file sharing. Yes. She said she had a student in a previous class about 10 years ago. I'll get a letter from the FBI. 01, Apple sells their first iPod. O three Apple launches iTunes. <laughs> These songs, you know, on Well by Matchbox Twenty. When I'm gone, three hours down. And now we move on to radio. The beginning. It used to be like you had to go, look at that, some guy is up in a ladder having to follow the lines. Not, not. This. Huh? Early pioneers, the Scottish scientist James Maxwell. Maxwell theorized about radio waves in German physicist Heinrich Hertz. He proved electricity emitted radio waves in 1887. Which is what all of those are. Italian inventor Gilvo Marconi. He developed wireless tele telegraphy, voiceless point to point, point, to point communication in mid 1890s.
Canadian inventor Reginald. How do you say his last name? Yeah, the first voice of radio. He transmits his voice and music in 1907. And this is our words, the transmitter to the receiver. See those that's kind of like the towers on here. Nineteen sixteen radio broadcast the local man in garage plays music for his friends. Nineteen twenty the first commercial radio station. Nineteen twenty two, the first advertisement. Apartment owner owner bought ten minutes for fifty dollars at WEAF, NBC's key station in New York. By 1924, there were 600 commercial stations in the U.S. So that's what one looked like in 22. And what it looked like in 24. <laughs> By the early 20s. In the 30s, everybody gathered around the radio. <laughs> 1940s. This is what they did. There was no TV yet, huh? In the 50s, this is what they looked like. Your parents probably had 
had those, huh? But probably, right? And these kind too, huh? <coughs> you have one upstairs. And you have this and this.